Hello and welcome to our watercolor journey. Today Heinrich will demonstrate how to create depth through light and shadow. Let's loosen up a little. All the materials used are listed in the description below, so gear up and come paint with us. The Canson rough paper is taped flat onto the board. Make sure the tape is secure to prevent seepage. Heinrich uses Senelier masking fluid and a silicone pastel blending brush to mask out random flowers and marks on the paper where he wants to preserve the white of the paper to create the flowers. He doesn't use a sketch because he wants to create a really loose effect. He just makes a few dots and a few star-like marks to represent the flowers. All very loose and random. Have a look at his lavender bouquet demonstration if you like this loose kind of painting. The link is in the description below. You don't need to apply a thick layer of masking fluid. A thin coating will do just as well. He made this a bit thick so it's easier to see on the video. If you want to know more about masking fluid, you can also have a look at this video. The link is also in the description below. Let the masking fluid dry naturally. Depending on how thickly you applied it, it should take between 15 and 30 minutes. It must be completely dry before you carry on. If you paint over wet or damp masking fluid, it will simply sink into the paper and you won't be able to remove it. To test for dryness, touch it lightly with your finger. It should feel cool and it shouldn't adhere to your fingertip. Heinrich uses the silver number 14 mop to wet the entire paper thoroughly. The paper is still flat on the table as he does not want the paint to flow in any direction. He will blend it on the paper. On the palette, we have Raw Sienna by Windsor & Newton, Sepia by Schmincke and Payne's Grey Black, also by Schmincke. First up is Raw Sienna and the Silver Black Velvet number 12 round brush. He lightly dabs the Raw Sienna onto the paper. There's no particular pattern and he leaves plenty of white spaces. Next is sepia. He fills in the white spaces with sepia and allows the paint to mix and blend by itself mostly. He places the darker sepia around the masked out flowers to establish a first layer of shadow. The white flowers will stand out nicely against the darker background. He makes diagonal and vertical lines with the sepia to mark out some stems for the leaves and for the flowers. These will dry back a lot, so don't be afraid to add some more pigment to your first layer. Now he uses the Barbara number no. 1 rigger to draw in more distinct stems with a stronger mix of sepia. These are very random and as he is still working wet on wet, they will diffuse into the background, creating a soft, hazy look. Let the painting dry naturally. You still have masking fluid on, so don't use a hairdryer. It might make the masking fluid difficult to remove. 
The painting has now dried and you can see that it looks rather dull and uninteresting at the moment. Make sure that it is really dry before you attempt the next step. Heinrich is wetting the paper with a silver mop again. Be very gentle. You don't want to press hard or use multiple brush strokes as you might lift the first layer. Now he adds the next layer of raw sienna using the silver black velvet number 12 brush again. Remember that you are working wet in wet and you want a little more color this time. So make your mix a little bit stronger, almost creamy. Dab the raw sienna roughly in the same places that you had it in the first layer. Make sure to preserve your light, so leave plenty of white space. You can always paint over the white, but sometimes it can be difficult to get your light back, so be careful with it. He follows in the same fashion with the sepia, staying roughly on the original marks. Pulling down some more prominent stems here using the tip of the brush. Keep your brush strokes as light as possible. If you rub the brush on the paper you will only lift the bottom layer and cause a muddy mess. Let it dry again. Make sure it's completely dry then use a rubber cement eraser, some cling wrap or your finger to remove the masking fluid. Make sure there's no residue left before you start painting again. Wipe your hand lightly over the paper. You will feel a slight resistance if there is still some fluid left on the paper. He uses the Barbara Rigger and a strong creamy mix of sepia to paint the stems. He uses quick light strokes. As this is a kind of loose painting, the stems are not solid. It's mostly just um, suggestions creating the illusion of stems. He uses the rigger as it helps to give a very delicate look to the flowers. If you only have a larger brush, then make sure to use the very tip of the brush to make your marks. Always keep an eye on your white spaces. Make your marks in such a way that you can incorporate and preserve the light.
Now he uses Paints Grey Black to start building the foreground. So far you can see that there is a lovely depth and dimension in the painting. He uses the stark blackness of the Paints Grey to build the plants in the immediate foreground. He uses the Escoda Prado number no. 6 round to paint in more prominent silhouetted flowers, stems and leaves. He varies between sepia and paints grey black. He dabs the paint around the white marks to create better contrast. Now the white flowers can really pop. Here he uses a fairly strong mix of Bain's Grey Black to create the illusion of leaves and more prominent foliage in the foreground. This painting is an exercise in illusion, so the leaves shouldn't be precise. They should simply resemble something close to leaves and grasses. He uses Paints Grey Black for a bit of splattering to create texture and then adds a few dry brush strokes with the belly of the brush to create a more bushy look. To add a few more highlights, he uses Windsor & Newton Permanent White Gouache. He splatters a few drops to make some more white flowers and then he draws in a few stems.
It is perfectly fine to sign your painting once you are done. It is yours and you can be proud of what you have accomplished. Thank you so much for watching. Vaya con Dios.